This video will show you how we did um, define an intake section in CADAM 3D. Uh, to know exactly how to uh, build a structure, an hydraulic structure profile in CADAM 3D, you may want to consult the video uh, named How to Define a Gravity Dam Profile. So once the foundation was done, we did into the intake the parameter. Once this was done, we had access to the penstock. And then from the penstock here, I'm going to delete completely the penstock. But before doing this, I'm going to show you okay, the structure. So you have on the upstream side, you have two rectangular opening that that is this. They are separated by appear here and they ending up into a circular section here so I'm gonna use the option of transparency here I'm gonna put a 50% transparency so you can see inside the structure so pretty much you have I'm gonna remove the lift joints and I'm gonna make a render surface <coughs> here so we can see into as blue so we can see that we have a pier in between you have the two inlet going into the penstock here so to define that penstock once you have defined your profile of your section and the section depth you can go into penstock and from here I will delete the penstock the only thing that will be available is upstream opening First, you define how many openings you have, elevation, height, width, spacing, and everything. You click validate. It's going to show you this uh, figure here. And then you're done. You can go up to three opening. And then you have to define the downstream opening. Same thing if it is circular or rectangular. And then you just put the numbers here and you click validate. And after that, you add section. This is where it gets a bit complicated, but not that much. So I'm going to come back. OK, do cancel here. The penstock here is defined by four sections. So I'm going to delete those sections. You can see there's upper profile and the lower profile here. OK. So I'm going to delete that. So we're going to add a section. So all we did is define our opening upstream and downstream. So now we want to start from the upstream and go to the downstream opening by adding sections. So the section is composed of a top segment and a bottom segment. So you may define a straight line. We'll be doing your top segment an outer arc or inner arc. So I'll leave it as, as this here. So I can put a x equal to 1. So we're going to put the top x coordinate at 1. So we're starting at 0 here. And we're going to go 1 meter. And I'll leave the elevation at 15 meter. I'll do the same for the down, the down one. And then how is going to be my opening at the end at this location okay so now I know that upstream what I have I have two opening they are rectangular they have a height of 10 meter they are a width of three meters no radius so no corners here uh, they are space here by one meter and the X top is equal to zero X bottom is equal to zero and the elevation on the top of of my segment always talking about the upstream side here okay so what is the upstream uh, opening looks like and now I have to set up how this upstream is going to evaluate up to the downstream side so now I can change if I want the size of the spacing I can slightly increase a radius if I want here or leave it zero I can not change here the size of my number of opening since the, the spacing is not equal to zero. 
So if you put this spacing to key equal to zero, it means that it's going to close the peer at this level. And for the next uh, section, you'll, you'll have the only option to put two only, uh, sorry, one opening. And then the width and the height can be specified here. So if you want to have the height, uh, the height is computed from the location of those points, but the width can be changed here. So I'm going to leave it as it is like this. I click OK. Now I have defined the first profile. And we proceed like this. I had another section. So now I can have a inner arc like this. And I can put an arc radius of 12 meter. I'll go to X direction of 6 and top of 12. And then for the bottom one and outer arc, with the X now would be located at 4. Bottom here would be uh, located at 5 again. Uh, no, I'll put it at, at 3, let's say, and a radius of 10. And I'm going to put my space here equal to 0. So it means that I'm going to close the peer at this level. And then I click OK. So I have this profile that was added like this. So if I had another section now, I only have one opening available, not two opening. It can be an opening that is uh, circular or square with rounded shape, as you like. So you proceed like this until you reach the end uh, of your or, or the downstream side of of the the intake section. So I'm going to click cancel here to cancel everything that I did here, and I come back here. So pretty much, if you follow exactly what was supposed to do according to your plans, uh, what you end up having is some kind of profile that looked like this. And once this is done, then you can place your shafts. So in this case, you can go up to three shafts. We only selected once. You select properties. You put all the values here and we'll locate your shafts inside your section according to the pen stock that was defined. And the location of the stop log, if you, you don't want to, you have no log, you just select here. Or if you want to put your logs into any of the shafts, you select them here or on the upstream face. Because one of the load cases here is using a um, dry uh, <clears throat> section. So it means that you have to set where your logs are going to be located when you're going to dry your pen stock. And that's it. Pretty much you have, how to, you have here how to define an intake section in CADAM 3D. Thank you.